Okay, today next next part another short three five minutes revision guys three five minutes revision today the organ that I have for you is the small intestine. Where is my small intestine? Starting point. Starting point. Starting point. Starting point. Uh, small intestine. Small intestine. Okay, got it, lah, guys. There, small intestine. So this is the small intestine. Small intestine. Small intestine. Keep going. Keep going. Small intestine. Small intestine. And it keeps going, lah, guys. Uh, so this is a uh, herbie was a small intestine. A goat small intestine so that's that's the the, the length of your human being's small intestine this is actually much longer guys cut it into half already so the human being's uh, small intestine is approximately about six meters in length so six meters of tube that you have there the six meters of tube that you have there is the small intestine small intestine another vital important part easy to ask questions for exams for SPM exams as a revision also maybe for the form 2 students or form 3 students there form 4 students before final exam so take that video use this properly very fast one guys so small testing special one because it produces five enzymes then it also does absorption what are the five enzymes produced by the small intestine here that are present that works in the small intestine here will be sucrase remember it as smell 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 stands for sucrase Maltase, Eryxine, Lactase, and then go Lipase. So these are the five enzymes produced by the small intestine. You must specifically know, if you need to explain this, you must specifically know what every one of the enzyme does. The example, what the sucrase does. What the sucrase do? So sucrase, for instance, there will digest sucrose, become glucose and fructose. Maltase will digest maltose, become glucose and glucose. Iranxin is the last part of digestion for protein. It means all the final, final touch up, final, final digestion, everything happens in the small intestine. This organ here, yeah, guys, very, very long organ. Okay, this intestine here. So, all the final, final parts of digestion occurs in the small intestine. Other than that, small intestine, after everything gets digested, the food must be absorbed. No point digesting food yeah, if it doesn't get absorbed. So, it needs absorption. Where does absorption occur? Absorption also takes place in the small intestine. So, for instance, here, this structure, this structure, the V like structure. Very, very important for absorption. So this is the V-like structure that is very, very vital for the absorption of nutrients. Yeah. So, see this guy, guys. Uh, this is a bit sticky, sticky already. But anyway, if I if I cut, okay, cut the small intestine. If I put my finger inside here, and then I feel, it feels like there is like a dot, 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 dot structure. That dot 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 structure that you see here, right? Uh, that is the villa. A bit far for you to see, lah, but the, this is the small intestine. And since this is a herbivore small intestine, the villa structure not so much. If you compare to us, like for instance, there, a uh, uh, mammalian omnivore, like a human being there, you will find that the villa structure will be more, more upper. You can see, you can feel it more. Uh, yeah, you can actually feel the, the presence of the, the V-Li structure more obvious uh, okay? So the V-Li jangan lupa pastikan you clear Got four things that you must know related to the V-Li Empat benda, apa empat benda V-Li kecil On top of V-Li got sama kecil fella called micro V-Li Got smaller bulu on top of the V-Li Known as the micro V-Li Then got epithelial cells one cell thick. Why one cell thick? Then only food can get absorbed easily. Then, other than that, got blood capillaries. What is the purpose of the blood capillaries? It will transport the food from here, from the millions of villi, go back to the heart. Then from the heart, it will go to all parts of the body. That is the purpose of it. Then, one more thing here, there is a lactin. What does the lacteal do? Lacteal does all the fat absorption. That means whatever food that is fatty food, all will go inside lacteal. L for lacteal, L for lipid, L for lemak. So whatever fatty, fatty foods all will get absorbed into the lacteal. So another important part, 
that I've shared with you. Small testing, easy essay question. Why? Got five enzymes, got absorption. Got five enzymes, got absorption. That's all for today. Take care, guys.